was at the circus on July 6, 1944. And I remember everything about it. Survivors recalled their experiences from underneath the big tent that housed over 7,000 people on that hot July day. Nancy Spada, then only 10 years old, recalls the beautiful rainbow colors that she called children's colors. Everything was absolutely in technicolor. Dogwood trees in the field behind Wish Elementary School in Hartford's North End line what was the perimeter of the Ringland Brothers tent. Down the long rocky path, the entrance where the flames kindled at 2.40 p.m. The tent, lined with wax and gasoline for waterproofing, quickly erupted, turning the blue sky black. Fire had uh, the ashes, the people running around. Spada recalls her sisters and mother jumping from the top of the bleachers into her father's arms. Her father, a police officer, got them out and then went back to help countless others. Eight minutes after the fire began, the tent collapsed. 167 of the 7,000 who attended became victims, the rest yet to be identified. Each one of their names read aloud. Maurice Goff. 24. This monument marks the center of the ring, which was once a terrible sight, now covered in white roses. And I put my rose on a three-year-old. That's how old I was when I came here. From the blaze emerged heroes, first responders, circus performers, and everyday citizens who banded together to help save each other. It was truly the community coming together, whether it be first responder or average citizen, doing what they could for their fellow man or for their fellow woman. New reform developed from the ashes. Different substances would be used to waterproof objects, and new fire code regulations would be enacted, impacting lives across the country for years to come. The legacy of the lives lost, forever commemorated and never forgotten. And I know the survivors, and especially the victims, are so proud. They're saying, you're here with us. The Hartford Fire Department put a lot of work into cleaning up the grounds to restore the monument ahead of yesterday's event. Their work went a long way into helping commemorate all the families affected by the tragedy. In the studio, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.